Yo, yo. Episode two. Check Size TV. Y'all see it in the back. Checkstacks.com. Chillin' with Cuzzo. You know what I mean? And uh, we just have a cold ass in depth interview. And, uh, like we always do. You know, y'all stay liking, sharing, and subscribing, and commenting at the bottom down below. Always. You know what I mean? So, uh, we're 10 toes down. Let's get it. Facts. So we gonna start it right off like this. You coming from? Where you coming from? What's the different? What's what's something that you could tell somebody starting off where you started off back in the day? What's some gems or or jewels that you can get in? Shit. Starting off back in the day. Mm. Uh. Some gems and some jewels is uh trying to get back to riding big bus drivers about two, three, four in the morning as a people. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right after the diaper phase, you know, get a smell of that nitrous. And anybody out in the farm, you got beautiful ladies, you got beautiful cars. You know what I mean? You got you know, all type of shit going on. And, uh, you can add one of those experiences to one of your little peewees coming up, you should do it because uh, they never forget it. That's why I take my little peewees to dream cruise and little cruises that I know is very important, even though people don't think they watch it, you know what I mean? But uh, it's very important. And then number two, coming up as a peewee, uh, you know, I used to ride my bike there where I used to go when I was 12. Well, my trip right I still got today uh, to a little elementary school around the corner where I used to grow up and uh, you know it's just be experiences man too but society and you know people that you grew up with and you know experiment and took away from my first joint you know what I mean mm-hmm. so I ain't from only but I'm just trying to tell y'all you know that was back then and uh, this is not me. I, know, uh, I, don't, I don't smoke no more. Neither do my colors. You know what I'm saying? Be sober. So, uh, you just been working all day and then uh, you got to grind a shot. You feel me? Right. But uh, number three coming up, I'll say one of the things uh, I paid attention to was uh, people. I study people. Uh, you learn from others' mistakes? That too. But, you know, the people are. Uh, their idolized was a little different from the average blue color motherfucker. And, uh, you know what I mean? This shit was more like dog collar type shit. And they told on the Rough Riders DMX, but it's a shout out to the Locks and DMX and the whole Rough Riders. You know, uh-huh. On that New York shit. But, um, my nigga was, that shit was, it was different. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like, OGs showed me love as a PB, you know what I'm saying? A little bit. But, uh, I ain't no little nigga no more. I'm a, I'm a, uh, I'm a huge king nigga mm-hmm. today. You know what I'm saying? So that's the difference. <clears throat> my, my structure and my foundation. You see, my arm will protect from the most high. Okay, okay. So, do you, do you care to share some of your personal experiences with us about growing up? Like, just to particular story or something or a particular moment that sticks out of your mind? Shit, growing up. All I think about is music. We used to be playing at that time, so that's how I kind of pinpoint my memories based on music. But shit. I also write a book. It'll be about this thing. Mm-hmm. But, uh, it's a story. Yeah, particular one that, you know, that you just got that hand right now. I remember I went to my first ice break. Mm. It's high school and shit. So, uh, I was running some real strong line type cats. You know what I'm saying? Thoroughbreds. Mm. I know, I'm talking about this before social media, this before phones, really. This is when you gotta communicate face to face, regardless in society. You know what I'm saying? So, went to my ice break, had a good time, taking pictures and shit, stunning. Had all my L Weezy on. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? L. 
Carter. Party here, here. I ain't tapped in, but I'm over there on that side, but it's still on the north side. We had dip to a uh, big boys and shit. I was in the back seat. I was chilling with one of my other partners, and one of his partners was driving the OG, and some cats started really talking. Mm -hmm. so I guess there was some other little, you know, the kind of car he was in. You know, I just remember. I just remember being in my icebreaker and, uh, and I'm walking out of that place like, damn. I was like, all of these pretty fine ass females. Yeah. Females. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know about the league to go to Big Boys right now. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Good. So I let, I leave, go to Big Boys, get into some shit. And, uh, it was a hell of a night, but it all worked out for everybody. Yeah. That's just a moment that sticks out because there's a lot more to that story. You yeah. did. I'm just saying, is there anything that you would care to share with us? Well, you mind if I care about, I mean, I share something with you about one of them, something that sticks out of my mind. Go ahead, bro. All right. I remember me and you, we was down in Greek town, right? Be chilling. I think it was like me, me, you, and a couple, probably like two other people. And uh, this one made me understand that you was a solid cat. Like you was kind of cut from the same place that I was cut from. I don't know what people said to you, or none of that. But <laughs> all I know is, with your reaction, it was like, nigga, whatever you are talking about, nigga ain't gonna happen, you know what I'm saying, but I was right there, you know what I'm saying, like this, that was some 10, 10 toes down, like you saying type stuff, like, but that was just like, on some, I feel like that was on some street mentality type stuff, but that's the type of story that I'm talking about, like, do you care to share, like, with, with, a, with the public, like, something like that? Tell you know. Well... According to the statutes and limitations, I can't really talk about that shit. Yeah. But, um, That's why I didn't really get too much into it. Yeah, I don't really. It's, it's too. But you know the you know an incident I'm talking about though. Oh yeah. Three time. Small S and uh, M and uh. Yeah. 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 No, not that S and M or whatever the fuck. I know what you doing. Some other shit right now. Yeah. yeah. But I don't really uh, recall, like, uh, you know, who I was talking to. But I remember that night, you know what I'm saying? All this new shit was always going to be uh, smooth. But, you know, on my watch, you know, I, I'm going to shuffle around and shit, so. <laughs> uh, we had an off camera talk about that. Uh, yeah, so. I don't, I don't even remember what I said, because, you know, I do um, yeah, I remember. I don't really, I don't really think about that shit. If yeah. it, like it, it, it was nothing. So I don't really think about it. So it's every day for you. Nah, it's just if it don't stand out, you know what I'm saying? Shit, yeah. so, not trying to boss a rider. You know what I'm saying? Like this, I probably said something, but that shit not Yeah. So uh, peace to all you brothers. Whoever was in that niche age. Right. Survive the peace. <clears throat> okay, so what's some you read the Bible, right? Of course. What's some that you care to share with the public that you recently learned reading the Bible? Well, of course the Bible uh recently not learned but it's just uh come across I just been studying. No, I study, I study over and over, like, it don't just go away with me, like, I, I, I just gotta keep going back to that same story and just kind of ponder mm -hmm. and, and, like, tap into that, that, uh, how can you say, I, I say scripture, but, like, mm -hmm. the way I kind of read the Bible, I read it in you know, Hebrew. It's kind of like a lifestyle. I read it in Hebrew, the original language, though. Mm -hmm. Even though American is not ours and our last name, but we got it from slave masters. But uh, I 
content of uh, just uh, look at verses, man, and study. And really become that verse in my way of how I read the Bible. But I just don't only read the Bible. You gotta have the source, you gotta have a dictionary. You gotta know what these words mean to me. For sure. In depth. Like, you know what I'm saying? You gotta get to the root of the tree. You can't just look at a leaf and think that's the whole thing. You gotta know its branches and this other thing that's going on with that one leaf. Sure. That's only one leaf. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So, that's how I do my thing. Okay. Start. Would you say that you can't, you've done everything independently? With the chasing stacks, bro. Nah, man. Chasing stacks. That shit don't stop. Mm -hmm. That's. It's not just a brain, dog. I am chasing stacks. Mm -hmm. And it's like I am my brain. So, but in business, they say no, we get attached to one thing for so long. Because it can hurt you. But I look at it like, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And, uh, Learn as much from if it is a failure in business, just learn as much as you can. Stick with that one business for a long period of time. So, by the time you get ready to switch up your shit, you will really know how I feel and what it is to really cherish that next business more ways than one. You know what I'm saying? So, if you was dealing with somebody who was trying to, <clears throat> I don't know what you want to call it, get rich quick. What was something that you would suggest to them? Shit, uh, what type of business or? No, you fucking way. Uh, just uh, stay focused. Because um, <clears throat> anybody don't see the way you see things as far as your business. Mm. And like, you know, their brain. And it's meant for them, majority, I say 90%, it's, it's meant for 90% not to comprehend or understand it because they so caught up in the bubble of being not one of their own, their own shit. Mm. And it's not, when I say that, I'm not saying it to be like, they got home, but I'm just saying like, be brave enough to at least take a risk, like Rosa Parks did on the bus. Mm -hmm. And know where to feel like. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm about. I'm about listening, which is hearing, and I'm about seeing, which is vision. Vision and seeing is two different wavelengths. Mm -hmm. You got two choices, really. Do you rather right see and believe it, or do you rather right hear it and have an ear to hear and receive it? You care to explain the difference? Well, uh, I'd rather hear than see the difference. I'd rather hear. You know what I'm saying? That's called discernment, and that's called hearing truth and hearing lies. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? As far as the hearing. And on top of all that, hearing the voice of the Most High and listening to your inner self as far as your gut. Or, or uh, the penitentiary, or something to it. It's most, most definitely important to me. So, what's some of the other things that's most important to you? Besides uh, the most high life and family, and uh, mine with my children, a certain way they were. I'm just saying they know who I am, and then it'll never change. No matter how much any circumstances go through, they'll always know. And I'm, a, I'm a protector, and provider, and you know what I'm saying? Just uh, have an offspring and just do, do something to you as a man. But not saying I got children, but I just know that's very important. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? But other than that, just uh, my own business. That they hate is hate. That's it. Okay. What's something that 
you've been trying to stress to the people or or get across to the people that you feel like they haven't really understood by now? Shit. There's a, it's a battle going on right now on this earth. Mm. For good and for bad. That's all I'm saying. So, for the people that still don't understand about what you just said, what, you, what do you think is a quicker way to reach those people? Um, social media. Mm. Um, actual communication one on one, phone calls, text messages, emails, uh, just uh, showing acts of who you are as an individual and who you are as a uh, human. You know what I'm saying? And showing your gift and representing what you have inside your heart to the world. That's how I feel about that. So, what about those people who you didn't already show them your gift, you didn't already talk to them, you didn't already told them about your plan and your vision, they still just don't understand it. Wow. Would you would you just lead them but these are like loved ones. Right. Say I really didn't understand your vision or something like that. Yeah. Would you just lead them in the past or would you understand like kind of what they going through well you only can uh you can't even work though though you leave though mm -hmm. so if you can add that to sos save ourselves mm -hmm. those you got the, the, the direct relationship with the most high first and then you know don't basically when i say that i'm saying don't worship creation you worship creator mm -hmm. And then the flesh uh, is 50 50 because sometimes if you have a love war in life, you have to have a moment where if you won't stay in a love war or you will walk away from it to make yourself better as a person and not just be a curled up ass caterpillar. You're supposed to be already a butterfly blossom. You know what I'm saying? The whole time I'm saying. So it's just like, there's only so many warnings you can give, so much you can say sometimes in life. Because you can be missing out on bigger opportunities and you can be wasting your time the whole time without knowing it. Ten years go by and they still the same way. Mm -hmm. When you could have did your own thing, took a risk, and still have kept your integrity and your respect and morals and, you know what I'm saying, just all that shit as a, as a human and as, you know, a child of the most high. And you can look back five years or ten years if you was with that person, but without that person, you can look back like, damn, they still the same way. Yeah. And you ain't even like that man. Or their energy could be draining your energy. You know what I mean? To pull you where they at. Mm -hmm. So it don't matter. Sometimes you can walk away, sometimes you can't. You know what I'm saying? So in a situation where you can walk away, or say for instance it's a it's a it's a parent, you know what I'm saying, that just really didn't understand your vision and they actually physically tried to you know what I'm saying? Like, say it, it is a parent, and they know the only thing you got going for Chase Sex TV is your camera, and they take your camera away. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, and I feel like this is what's really going on with a lot of these people that's going around shooting up schools and all of this. And this is why I asked you that: Would you just leading people along, or would you? Try to help them understand the vision a little bit better. So if they, when you say take your camera away, like far as you said, have like a platform, and then yeah, they shut it down. Yeah, like far as 
you being on YouTube and YouTube showing shit that I don't say they is have a big relationship with you. Mm -hmm. uh, shout out to YouTube, I love you guys. And, you know, Soulja Boy is one of the first rappers in this mm -hmm. thing. Stone Drake. Mm -hmm. This ain't no bullshit, but this was one of the first rappers to be on YouTube with video type shit go viral. You know, so he's a soldier. You know what I'm saying? Let's get out the show. You know what I'm saying? Trying to keep his head on straight. He is keeping his head on straight. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, uh, have, a, have a platform. Uh, and they shut it down. And they shut it down because they, yeah. don't, they don't understand it is. Uh, so would you just lead him on the outskirts? No, you just come back 20 times stronger. You create more content mm -hmm. and you create 20 pages. Right after they shut one down, you create 20. They shut down 20, you create 40. So, so, so on. You know what I'm saying? So, what advice would you give a young blogger? Somebody that's starting out just like yourself. <coughs> Young know, blogger. Mm -hmm. Interview is most important people you feel that gravitate you towards your goal. And uh, as you interview them or, you know, blogging, um, just, just enjoy that shit. Mm -hmm. It's no pressure. If it's, if it's uh, real, real, uh, how can I say it? If it's your passion, it don't feel like work. Mm -hmm. If it feel like work, then it's your passion. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, if that's something you like to do, I know you like to do it because you do a good job, but I'm just saying, like, just stick to that shit. And the moment you notice it ain't work, that's the moment you're going to get up and mm -hmm. stay there. Because they see that. You know what I'm saying? You ain't acting no all different. You just being you genuine. That's what I like about just being genuine. You know what I'm saying? Just be who you are. You know what I'm saying? When the last time you actually helped somebody? Shit, uh, besides moving, some OGs, uh, like just you know, a random act of kindness. Uh, mm -hmm. Those were my children. And, uh, we was at a light. And I saw this lady. She had to sign, and then uh, it was on a like, 90 degree day. She looked like she was like super hot. So mm -hmm. I had one of my compadres in the back throw me an ice cold water out the cooler in the back seat, and uh, I threw it to her. And then as soon as I threw it to her, she caught it, light turned green. By the time I looked back in the mirror, she was throwing like that. Mm -hmm. And then I look back at one of my compadres and I, it was like, uh, it was like, uh, I can't wait to uh, get a chance to do that too. It was smiling in my face. So, say you've seen that same person five or six years from now, what do you think you'll be able to say to them? At that I hope you still drink plenty of water. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. Okay. So, was it anybody indirectly or that you remember that you want to address publicly that did not believe in you? before you started what you started? I don't want to say no names, but uh, there's one person mm -hmm. that's uh, twice by age. And, uh, they said some, I guess they thought it would have hurt my feelings. So. Mm -hmm. But it was just some shit like, uh, continue, what did it say? Continue being Chasing your little dream, little dream, mm. uh, being a reality star. Not a reality, but it was just an OG, but not knowing the shit that pays the bills if you do it the right way. Mm. And really have a bag, you know what I'm saying? But it was like, uh, just basically just like the shit you're doing ain't gonna work. Mm. But they ain't say it like that, but. 
It was just hate. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Man, I, I was like, I was like, I was like, I was like, I was just like, you know what I'm saying? It was another person I got to stop praying for. Well, not stop praying for, but just a person that I know that's against me. And I'm they, saying, and what? they revealed themselves as my brand. What would you say to them? What one person? What I say to them is two yeah. words, fuck you. And then two more words. I'm blessed. Exactly. And then two more words. Stay smooth. Mm-hmm. So is there anything else that you would like to say to the people that support you? Or, you know what I'm saying? Let the Lord basically, you know what I'm saying? Let the people know how you feel. About them that support you. Oh, the supporters, uh, y'all know me one. That's number one. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I, I appreciate, you know, all the love. I appreciate everybody who uh, view my content and you can hear me. But this is just the beginning because this is only a little small, little speck. This mm-hmm. is like one little spot, little speck, a pepper in an ocean of salt. As far as knowledge, you know what I'm saying? As far as just, you know, how we, our breed, our generation, you know what I mean? Like, we ain't, we ain't, we ain't forget nothing, you know, mm-hmm. we destined. You know, we always gonna be somebody regardless of uh, what other people can't comprehend or misjudge, you know what I mean? Like, and take it a different way. But the whole time, it's just always been the same recipe to the same sauce mm-hmm. since Pee Wee's. So. That's my take on that shit. So, last but not least, say something to your haters, man, the people that didn't think that it was gonna happen. Shit, uh, I just wanna say to my haters, um, I hope you grab some napkins with your meal. Cause you might need that shit to clean your ass off, motherfucker. So wipe yourself off, bleed, bleed, serious. But that's another interview though. Me and my man chasing stacks. You know how we do. TV. Yeah, let's get it. Like, subscribe, share. The whole guy. I know what it is. Gonna be smooth. Alright.